Michael Lewis. Mr. Lewis, you're charged with obstructing a driveway. Yeah, it was my driveway, Your Honor. So you were blocking your own driveway? Yeah, well, this is what happened. Earlier that day, before the ticket was issued, my next-door neighbor who lives in 62, he calls me on the phone and says, Mike, can you move your car because you're parked in my parking space? I said, my car's parked in front of my house. How is your parking space? But I understand, kind of understand where he comes from because he has the permit parking overnight and all that stuff. But I try to explain to him, Mike, my, my, the front of my house can't, isn't your personal parking space when you want it to be. So he says, well, I'm going to park in your driveway. All right. But I told him, I said, Bobby, you don't park in my driveway. So I call down here to the department, and I ask him, well, you know, what, 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 what should I do? I said, if I blocked him in my driveway because he's parked there illegally, would I be wrong? Would I get told? Whatever. They said, no, the most you can get is a ticket. So they gave me the ticket. They said, they said it would be an overnight ticket, but I got a ticket for obstructing my own, but for blocking my own driveway where I live at. He lives in 62 next door. He, they have no, no, drive, no pro driveway. So, like I said, he blocked my driveway. I just wanted to teach the guy a lesson, but I ended up catching a ticket. I'd probably been better off going fishing. <laughs> the fish aren't biting, I understand. Well, not, not, not up there by uh, Douglas Avenue anyway. Southeast, the southeast light pole of Black Island. That's where they're. <laughs> yeah, go out there and catch some so scuff and some things. Charter Stripers. a boat. Take you about three hours to get out there. Then you yeah. can catch a nice little fish. But your know, what I like to, I don't know. I think it needs to be clarified to him. In other words, he parks in my house, in front of my house, every day, all day. I don't see nothing because he he got the parking permit. I really can't see nothing. I get that, but I don't want him to call me and tell me you I gotta move so he can park in front of my house. Inspector Carrigan's right here. Next time, call Inspector Carrigan. Okay, I'll do that. Call the court. Can I get your number before I go? Nine one one. Let me see the hat. 101st Airborne Division, Your Honor. 101st Airborne? Yeah, I was in the 4th, 5th, and 76th Infantry Division. I was a drill sergeant for five years, communication specialist, radio teletype operator. Did you go to Fort Benning? Fort Benning, Georgia, yes. I know that. I know that. You know, and did you... Serve overseas at all? Yeah, I went to uh, Ryan Air Force Base. I was Okinawa, Japan, Seoul, Korea. And uh, I was in Italy for like about three days. Did you eat a lot of pasta when you were there? Yes, I did. They got the best. <laughs> they do. I can't lie. Put the hat on. Oh, boy. You're going to be you're gonna be proud of your military I service. Oh, I am proud, Your Honor. I don't get me wrong. I am proud. I want to see a good salute. Come on. There you go. I don't care about the parking. You served in the service for five years. I'm dismissing the ticket. I got 10 years, Your Honor. 10? 10 years, yes. Well, you, you come back next time, I'll give you another ticket. <laughs> okay. We'll give you a double dose. Yeah. Anybody that serves in the military, to me, is very special. Okay, Mr. Lewis. Good to go? You're all good to go. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Okay.